Hey traders, Mike Katz here, seven points capital, lots of action, lots of movement, and traders love it, right? So we had a really nice day on the desk, and the spiders are just really, really weakening here. Took out that important 270 level, and it just looks like they're, you know, this wasn't a good close. A lot of the earnings that are coming in are not looking too good, and we'll see how the market reacts, but Action was great, lots of volatility, lots of follow through, and the desk did really well. Um, it, it's important to see how we do on days like today because I think that's when traders really thrive. If you know, I have traders that can't, can't do well when there isn't volatility, they're complaining there's not enough follow through. Well, if you didn't do well in this environment, then you know, it's gonna be tough to make money. But Let's see, SPY, what else did I trade today? Uh, I didn't trade any SPYs today, but I was definitely using that as a guide. Um, AMD was huge. Now look at this drop in after hours. I'm gonna run back real quick to see if there's anything to do here, but AMD was really nice all day. Just stay with the trend and short pops, cover, washes, trade around a core, and then you know, you could just see every pop. Look at this. This is to me an A plus setup, right? Downtrend pops into resistance. Good spot to get short. And a lot of these you could see all day long. So this was really good. And it's nice to have follow through. That's what we hope for. Um, what else? Uh, we had PTI. PTI was, you know, that debacle from the other day. Uh, let's see, this is not, oh, there it is. Yeah, so I added to swing. These are my fills from today, adding to swing. Um, it looks weak. It looks weak because of the offering today. They priced it at 675, and it looks like we are well below that. And you can see the volume profile node. We're well below that, and everybody who bought, looks like a lot of shares change hands between seven and uh, it's called nine and everybody's underwater there. So there should be some pressure there. And same goes for VTVT. That's starting to look the same. And uh, on intraday, there was a lot to do. Um, Tillery was fantastic. Let's see Tillery. So yeah, on this weakness, descending triangle, lower highs, the whole basket was weak. So I use a basket chart to, to, to monitor. Let's see if I could uh, bring that here. Move, there we are. So the, the basket was really weak. I was looking at the basket for the last couple of days, just waiting for it here on this bounce to top out. Uh, and I took home some CGC short and added to that this morning. And Tilray, I got in today and just used that. This this basket indicator as a guide to, to trade it. So Tilray was really nice trading around a core, adding on pops, and adding on, on weakness and got out of everything except for a little bit here. CGC came in short, got some ads early on. Got back to core around here. And then here just covered a little bit from swing. Still have that. And let's see what else. That's about it. I want to run real quick. I want to go check out AMD, what that's doing. Tesla's got action. That's moving. Oh, I had some Tesla trades today, but I didn't want to hold it into earnings. Uh, just basic, you know, oh, on, on this drop here, there was a drop that um, on the headline that they're, they're no longer on the safety list for, uh, I forget, I forget it where it's from, but they came off the list and they're not as safe as people thought. So I, I got short here, feeler versus these highs, just chopped around. And then when it started to go down, I added some more and then just scaled out of that. Wish, I was kind of, considering holding it into earnings, but I don't do that. And I'm kind of glad I, don't, I didn't do that, right? So we'll see. Options were implying about a $30 move in, in, in um, 
in Tesla or was it $50? I can't remember either 30 or $50. So right now we are trading up about $30 from where we closed. And that's kind of what the options were implying, I believe. So we'll see. I'm, I'm really looking forward to trading these next couple of days. And there's lots of earnings, lots coming out. And we just got to hope to keep the volatility going, keep the action around. And tomorrow, AMD, those of you guys who watch the videos, you'll know that I love trading the symbol. And tomorrow, I think, will be no different. It'll definitely be on my watch list. This thing is taking a dive here. Might even trade it tonight a little bit before I head home. But this 16, 15, 16 level seems important. And we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. Mike Katz, 7 Points Capital with today's Trader Takeaways. Mm -hmm.